My name is Marta Kerbatova, and I work as an E3 for the Bard Office of Sustainability. This means that I help the campus move towards its goals of a clean environment, equality, and good economy for all. Like many of you, I'm currently stuck at home wondering what it is that I can do to help continue the fight to prevent climate change. Luckily, the internet is our friend, and there are lots of things that we can do from the comfort of our very own beds. For one, there's a plethora of websites out there that offer climate change courses for you to brush up on your knowledge. Even Ivy League schools offer classes online. By going to websites like Class Central, you can find all the different topics that you're interested in to brush up on your knowledge. The Sunrise Movement even has an online crash course on how to reconcile the realities of coronavirus and green climate activism. There are also many petitions out there that need signing. It's as easy as filling out your name, your email, your address, and perhaps a short statement of purpose. If you have the funds to do so, it may also be a good idea to donate to organizations that are currently working to prevent climate change. Social media is also a great way to stay in touch not only with your friends, but also environmental movements. You can get the most up-to-date information, and you can share this information with all of your followers. And of course, one of the most important things that you can do in this political climate is to vote. You can register online to get your absentee ballot delivered straight to your home. These are challenging times, and for most of us, that can is advisable that we stay at home. That doesn't mean that we can't continue the fight for a better planet and a better future for us all. So remember, use all the resources that are at your disposal because there's a lot of them. And by using them effectively, you can help make a real difference.